Hello everyone watching on YouTube, my name, as always, is Chaos in the Sky, and I'm gonna really quickly get into a new game pretty fast here, or options maybe? Wait a minute, just turn the music off for a second. There we go. I don't know if that's copyrighted or not. But anyways, hello, welcome. I'm streaming uh, a game from my childhood, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. I love it a great deal. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we're gonna be 100%ing it. Shouldn't be too long of a game, but it'll go for a little while. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Like I said, I'm streaming, so I got chat here with me. All these videos will be going up the, onto YouTube. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And uh, let's load up the game. Yes, create a save file. Slot A, sure. Man, these were the good old days. You had to choose slot A or slot B. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a Genius. Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Whoop. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait. But I'm your master. I made you. No, no. Not the good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how selfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with! But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did! So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure! Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell. Then I said the magic wishing word and shook it. And in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! Uh, Terry, did you do that? I forgot how long the intro to this game was. <laughs> I love it, though. Yeah, Gary, it sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Wow! What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out! Um, how do I read the signs? Oh, oh okay! Press this button to read the signs. Mm. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button! I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. 
Oh, that's right. The entirety of this game takes place in one day. Explore the rest of SpongeBob's house. Yeah, yeah, I got it. All right, so I have played this game a lot when I was younger. Oh. Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror. So much for fixing this quietly. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure you can hit this and like change the channel. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. This is my favorite show. Oh, uh, heck yeah. Oh, no. That's rated R. I'm not allowed to watch that. Anyways, uh, yeah, this game, pretty old. I'm a big fan of it. I played it a lot when I was younger. It's uh, a lot of fun. I think it holds up very well. Good, uh, good gameplay, good controls and everything. I like it. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun times. I am gonna be 100%ing it, so I'm gonna get every single spatula. I think there are 100 in the game. Which means we also have to get all 100 socks, because you trade in socks for spatulas, which, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll know soon. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Talk to me, son. These are shiny objects. They're very valuable. Maybe traded to help SpongeBob along in his quest. We'll need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest to defeat the Robot Menace. There are five different colors of shiny object. Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find or in more dangerous places. Yep. So it's basically the currency of the game for the most part is what it means. Shines. It does shine. You're right, SpongeBob. Smells sweaty. Just like him. <laughs> Just like him. Jug or not one, thank you for following. I hope you enjoy the stream and any future ones you come to. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to Smash! the Red Shiny Object Collector. <laughs> I wish I could repeat the audio, but I can't. Thank you for the bit, Wolf Dragon Blood. A promotion. So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Wait a minute, this is like a typewriter. How did that make audio? <laughs> You've been promoted. Smash! Exactly. This is now your hero academia. SpongeBob. Break that open. Cass, when you think you're going to stream Pixelmon again? depends on other people's times. We might be able to this coming Friday, but it's uh, not likely. Uh, that controls the camera. Okay, yeah, I know how to do the camera and stuff. That's fun. All right, sick. Give me all of these shiny things. We're going to need a lot of these. I know a good place to grind them up, though, from when I was younger, so we won't have any trouble with that. Well, that's just... That's a, that's a picture right there. Have you played Yu-Gi-Oh! over the Nexus World Tournament 2011? Yes, yes I have. Wolf Dragon Blood, thank you for the 100 bits. I appreciate it a lot, man. Uh, let's go to this side of SpongeBob's house. Make a little bounce on the old bed. Yeah, bounce on the old bed. Ah! SpongeBob may jump by pressing the A button. Pressing A wall, SpongeBob is a mid-jump, will cause him to double jump for extra height. You can only double jump once per jump. Makes sense. Jump on the bed. Chaos, I'm a digital dummy. I spent all my money, so I can't sub. It happens, dude. I need these shiny things. Yeah. There we go. Oh, dear. I totally forgot that SpongeBob had this on his bed. There's Gary's food bowl. Why do you have a picture of Sandy in your house? For what reason? This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. Wonderful. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces like this. Oh, well, you know. Ow. Once SpongeBob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area over again. SpongeBob may get back underwear he has lost by collecting additional pairs along the way. SpongeBob starts out by wearing three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which, if found, will allow SpongeBob to wear more than three pairs at a time. SpongeBob can check how many pairs of underwear he has on by pressing the Z button. What do I have that map to? That button. There we go. I feel like a new sponge. A new sponge. I can't believe Barnacle Boyd stood still with SpongeBob long enough to get a picture with him. All right, on to this room. This is where I keep all my old comic books. <laughs> my old comic books. See how well he's doing by pressing the Z button, yada yada. Okay, yeah, I know all this stuff. I know how this all works. Uh, press the B button, yeah, 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 yeah. You think I don't remember? Oh, yeah, the, okay. Yep, bubble bounce, or whatever it's called. The bubble bash, I remember that. And this one? 
Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So we can open this. Yeah, all right, sick. Bow, bow. Too bad it's not Krabby Patties anymore. Oh, in the movie game? The movie game came after this one. This one was before the movie. The movie game took a lot of its assets from this game, if I'm not mistaken. The movie game is fun too, but this I definitely think this game is just better overall. Although the movie game has the skill tree, like the skill point stuff. That's the only thing I like about the movie game more than this one. This one doesn't have any kind of a skill tree or anything. But I think this one is just better made. It does shine, you're right. Ah, it's this. Oh, I have to use this to get up to that. I remember. I remember. This brings back the memories, it does. No, wait, come back. Come here. Is the camera control like... Can I flip it? Ah, ah sock, I need that. Wait, do I... Oh, I have to push this over there, dang it. Get over there. Oh, no, I know I don't. I have this. Oh, let's go, boys. Time to get our first sock of the game. Eased on it. Easy sock gainage. All right, I think we're done with that room then. Uh, we should be done in SpongeBob's house. This is probably the last time we'll ever come here, ever. What a nice picture of Gary. Look at that. That's nice. Hello there. This is a golden spatula. You need these to unlock new areas in Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob will need to collect many of them in order to find and defeat the source of the rampaging robots. I think you have to get 75 out of the 100 spatulas to be able to fight the final boss, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, if you're gonna do a Yu-Gi-Oh over the Nexus playthrough, I'll probably never do a Yu-Gi-Oh playthrough of any kind because I'm not good enough at Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh man. Who makes a don't obey option? I just saw that in chat. Yeah, Plankton isn't the smartest. Into Bikini Bottom we go, chat. To save the world. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the sound of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. <laughs> Dude, I love this game so much. Uh, unfortunately, there aren't sub. This game is pretty old. There aren't subtitles for like cutscenes and stuff, but. Uh, at least they have the text boxes you can go through, but they're still voiced, which I really like. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. Not the spoons! That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bent all my forks. Not the forks! Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. You stupid idiot. I'm gonna keep asking every stream until you answer. Are you gonna do a Star Force 2 playthrough? Yeah, totally. I'm gonna do a playthrough of all the Star Force games eventually. What was that noise? What the heck? Mr. Krabs! Bob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more crusty crab. No more crusty crab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Some people just never change. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Even Lego Star Wars games? What do you mean, Lego Star Wars games? I don't think I'm ever going to play any Lego Star... 
just drop by to give you a bubble hand. How dare you interrupt me? I don't think I'm ever going to play any Lego Star Wars games. But, uh, what's Star Force? Mega Man Star Force. There are three Mega Man Star Force games with version differences. I'm going to play them eventually because I love them. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Where were we? Wait, what was that about the ninth dimension again? Uh, something about new bubble moves? Right! Press this button, and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! Plankton is smart enough to make robots, but dumb enough to put a don't obey command on his machine. But what if he needed to make some that didn't obey him so that he could, like, have them fight the robots that do obey him in some epic battle, you know? He just made the mistake of not turning it to obey first. What a digital dummy. I want all of your shiny objects. We're I forgot this game is a tad bit dialogue heavy at the very start, but once we start to get the ball rolling... We'll, uh, we'll move pretty quick. Look, right up there's some of that golden underwear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that, that jerks pretty fast. Hello. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Oh, is it? Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. They bend spoons and steal socks? Is there an evil more terrible than these robots? Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. Oh, thank goodness. I could really use a golden turkey baster to baste my turkey. You mean spatula? Bless you. Yes, <laughs> I love this game, man. It's so funny. Uh, all right. Uh, if I remember right, we need to go over here. We're gonna get a spatula and the golden underwear. Hit that bad boy. So that's how we get to the spatula. But we gotta get on Squidward's house. And to get on Squidward's house, we're gonna hit this bad boy. There we are. Yeah. We'll grab the underwear and then get to move on to uh, the other thing. Bam, bam, and now that did not work. Right, you can't really move out of that. Hey, someone just followed, it sounds like. Just a second, I'll be right with you. There we go, got it. Flash Zephyr, thank you for following. I hope you enjoy this stream and future ones. The only thing separating Plankton from Doofenshmirtz is that one has a don't obey option, the other one puts a self-destruct button. Nice, I love Doofenshmirtz. Doofenshmirtz, evil incorporated. Is there another Spongebob console game or something? Because I played a different one. Uh, there are a couple. There's Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Then there's Battle for Bikini Bottom, which is this one, which is the best one, IMO. And then there's the Spongebob Squarepants movie game, which is pretty good, but not as good. 